Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homestead. I want to do the update for the uh, solid bar LED area. And we've got the sprouts coming up for the uh, charts that we planted to make this new extended bed for charts. So we've got the improved rainbow chart over here. You can see it's sprouting, coming up. And then over here, we've got some more Silverado chard sprouting up and coming in through here. It's a little sparse in this area here, but I don't know, maybe I'd put a little too much top top cover on that and it'll sprout up a little bit later. But we can always reseed and put in some more if it doesn't come up the way we want. But you can see with this new deeper bed using these multi-purpose mixing trays, you can see that the chard is really coming up. And man, it has got some nice growth on it. We're gonna have a really good saute with this. I mean, there's a lot ready to harvest inside of here right now. But you know, we can take that, put it make for our dinner. We've got a bunch over here too. You can see it's really expressing new growth potential with this. And also inside of this tray, I've mixed in vermicompost, which is, you know, my worm compost that I, I produce here on the homestead outside with all of our kitchen scraps. Since we don't have chickens, I'm doing worm composting. So that's what's inside these beds. And it should help, you know, increase the fertility and the uh, production of these beds. And eventually I think what we'll do is we're gonna take this stuff, once I get it big enough inside of here and growing and you know, the, the, the actual crowns of these chard getting really big, I wanna transfer these to be an outside one that can actually survive our winters. So I believe the Silverado chard says on its packaging that you can actually take this and if it's got some kind of like a, a you know a hoop house or something over the top of it or you know a cloth to keep the heaviest of the, the freezing weather off of it it should survive the winter and I remember my grandmother used to have chard out there on the farm where uh, it would come back year after year it'd die down in the winter and come back the next year as long as it's got that you know really good crown and root depth I think it'll just keep coming back. I'm not an expert, but you know, I try to try to, you know, do the best I can. <laughs> All right. Well, that's kind of the update for the uh, the midsize. Uh, no, that's not the midsize tent. That's the uh, the salad bar LED area. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been Brian from P and B Homesteading. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.